sup, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and we just finished watching Yulia's performance of We uh, I Won't Break, uh, Russia, obviously, and uh, we just figured we're gonna share our thoughts. And um, just to give you a quick idea, she is actually on a mountain. The rumors were true. She's singing on top of a mountain. I don't know how tall it is, like two meters high. Using for projections, there are two dancers, and there are three backup singers standing in the back, just giving you kind of the setup. So let's share and what we thought about that staging. Uh, let's go with Efe. Hi everyone. <laughs> um, my thoughts about Russia. Yes, uh, I was satisfied the fact uh, about the fact that Russia improved their vocals well than uh, you know the Moscow pre-party because it was it was bad. Uh, it was not good uh, at the pre-party of Moscow. So now it it looks a little bit more professional and you know, more Eurovision, mm -hmm. um, so the performance was good, uh, she was staring in a, uh, sitting on a mountain, mm -hmm. she was just like a mountain, like two meters um, heights, and yeah, I quite like the song, I, I definitely see them as uh, a qualifier. Okay. So, so then I was going to ask you that later. Anyway, so, yeah. but what did you think? Uh, now, there was a lot of, you know, um, hype, if you will, about the staging. Did they live up to it? What do you think about the vocals? Just what, what are your thoughts? I'm just so happy that there was actually a mountain because I saw that a lot of people were saying there's going to be a mountain, there's going to be a mountain. But I thought that was just fans just, you know, sort of taking the pee a little bit. Yeah. But no, there was actually a mountain. Um, so it was a brave choice of them, but um, it, it does make it stand out. Um, I like the projections on the mountain. Uh, I do like the dancers that they've got. Um, and obviously they've got the backing singers there as well. But it just feels like to me that there's not quite a, a coherent package altogether from Russia. I feel like they've got a couple of different ideas of what they want to do on stage. And that they're, they're just trying all of them at once. Yeah. And it feels like it, it needs more of a direction, <laughs> either have the mountain um, or the, you know, the dancers, because they don't seem to make much sense together. Yeah. Um, vocally, it was a better performance than Moscow, um, which I think is, is fair to say. Um, I think was it good? Of, was it good enough? Uh, it was it was better. I wouldn't say it was good enough yet to you know guarantee a qualification. Um, I think there could still be a little bit of work, and obviously they've they've changed the key mm. so that it can support Yulia and the backing singers a bit more with it. Um, but they're definitely there's a bit more synergy between the two now, mm. and that you know it marries up a bit more. So uh, yeah, just a little bit more work on that, and I think it will be a much stronger performance. Much stronger performance. Yeah. Now, as you point out, yeah, they're doing a lot of things on stage that you feel like are not like, cohesive with the other. I assume you're referring to the uh, dancers as well, right? Because they have a male dancer and a, uh, and a female dancer and they're doing these acrobatic things and dancing around. There were a lot of camera shots that seemed awkward to me. And what I mean that they were like um, running one to each other and you, we watched them running and it felt really weird like they're going to embrace the camera or something like that. It felt really awkward and felt really long. Um, they fixed that with like the third run through I think and um, it looked way better and that's what the rehearsals are there for. Now there are a few things that I personally am going to point out. I thought fell flat a little. The mountain is a really cool idea and it looks good but they use projections on the mountain yet I feel like they didn't take advantage of it enough. They did this iceberg thing that you pointed out um, that looked kind of cool. That's like the first effect I think they're using and then it just kind of fades away with some lights here and there but they have this big curtain at the bottom so on as you could do a great projections almost like Estonia I think mm. but I don't think they really took advantage of that and um, I feel as the camera should be on Yulia a lot. She is the star of the show, right? She is the singer. She should be uh, featured as much as possible and feel like that sometimes didn't do that as much. It feels like there was a lot of um, shots from back the arena and then a lot of the dancing. Do you agree with that or am I being a little too harsh? No. Um, of course, I mean, I Won't Break is a song that uh, it's, it's a really powerful ballad, so it's, it needs to be like uh, a really good work with the uh, with the camera shots and the with uh, the lights and the, with the, all the production, which is really visual. So um, you pointed out a really good thing. Uh, to me, it's the same. Uh, they should you know improve the camera shots according to me as well. Okay. So then, just one final question and any final thoughts, like improvements, but first, um, what, is there anything that should change and do you think they're going to qualify? Again, this is only just as of right now, first gut feeling, we haven't seen all the performances yet, but just, you know, you go with something that's in your tummy and we're doing this for fun. So any final suggestions, improvement and if they're going to qualify? Um, 
before the qualification thing, I, I want to say um, Yulia is a really beautiful person and I love her personally uh, and I'm really quite proud of what she's doing in the stage uh, without uh, you know, seeing any uh, bad comments actually on the internet nobody. So I love you and good luck and I hope you will qualify for the finals. Yes, so qualify. You think she's going to qualify? Yeah. Okay. So any final thoughts from you and what about qualification? Uh, I, I don't think it's going to be comfortable, but I do feel because uh, it is perceived as the weakest semi-final and because it is Russia, um, I think at the moment it will be a qualifier, mm. but it all comes down to the night. It depends on whether they can improve the vocals, uh, it depends on whether they can have a, a more coherent performance, because some people will probably see it and go, okay, there's a mountain and then there's some dancers, what's this all about? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think they need to focus on her more. Yeah, because she, 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 yeah. she is the star of the performance, and I think someone tweeted earlier there was about 45 seconds of the performance that didn't have Yulia in a close-up, which mm. seems a bit wrong for a soloist. Mm. But I, uh, I think they will qualify probably about eight or ninth at the moment. Um, but we'll see. It could it could go either way. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna echo everything that Chan just said, with one exception. I'm gonna go against the group here and say I don't think Russia is going to qualify. Gut feeling, controversial opinion. Uh, Woo! <laughs> no, it's just a vibe. I think that to me, the vocals were just not quite there, and the juries. I don't. I just don't see the juries embracing this one. And if it even finishes eighth or ninth place or whatever in the uh, televote, the juries will drop it out. That would be my feeling. Right now, we haven't seen everything. This may change, but based on the first rehearsal, that's my opinion, and that's what we'll go with. But I'm overruled to saying yes. We as East United believe Russia is going to qualify. Uh, but what do you think? Did you like the performance or not? Let us know. Leave your comments in the exactly down there in the comment section down there. And um, we'll be back with our next video soon because next up it is Moldova. So see you all soon.